hi guys welcome to my channel thanks for coming back we're at 37 weeks how is this possible okay so I'm trying to figure out the lighting in here because later in the afternoon than I usually record so there's some really bright lights so hopefully this works out and we can finish this little it's just hopefully will be short but I think I say that at the beginning of every single video and it's never short so wow well probably the biggest thing um, in the last two weeks is just again my husband's accident and dealing with that trying to figure out how he's gonna heal if he's gonna, like when he's gonna heal if he's gonna have surgery um, what that's going to entail is baby going to wait until after surgery is baby going to come beforehand and there's just been a lot of anxiety about that which in one way yes is like normal but in another way it's super unhealthy and I shouldn't be worrying about it it's been a bit tricky he has surgery this week on Wednesday I'm not sure exactly what that's going to entail obviously it's surgery so for skin grafting on his feet and that should speed up the healing process so he will be down and out for about a week and then he's supposed to start getting better and sorry that there's so much yelling in the background I don't know if you guys can hear that but daddy and Jojo are having some boy bonding time it's tough it's really tough and um, but yeah that's my life right now and there's not much I can do about it like I just need to you know let it go one of the big things also that I want to talk about was that I actually had my 36 week in-home midwife appointment um, over this past week and so that was kind of cool because I, my midwife that I was seeing at the beginning of my pregnancy but I haven't seen her for months and um, so that was kind of fun to see her again because it's been a, been a while and she's just one of those people that I mean I love both my midwives but this one is just very I don't know there's something about her that I just like you kind of be like you know like a weight rolls off your shoulders when she's in the room and she starts talking to you it's just one of those kind of people and um, yeah I just I really enjoyed talking to her and seeing her and she was so kind and was so encouraging to Isaac too because she knows like she told me because I told her okay backtrack um, I told her that I feel like a little bit more crampy and stuff in the evenings especially and it's kind of freaked me out because I don't know if you know, but like a Braxton Hicks is more like something from on top of your stomach. Like you feel your whole uterus harden and your tummy gets tight. But there's this crampy feeling that is more, it reminds me of a contraction. It's not like an out and like, ah, contraction, but it's definitely something's going on there and it's low and it's different than a Braxton Hicks, totally different. So. I've been nervous. I was nervous about that and she told me, she's like, you can freak out for five seconds and then you have to just let it go because she wants your body to be prepared. She's like, you want your body to loosen up. You want your body to stretch and be getting ready to birth this baby. She's like, you don't want to be resisting that and being tight and tense and nervous about it because she's like, that's just going to make the birth less likely to be easy and all that, all that jazz and stuff. So it was a good reminder for me because I'm like, she's right. I need to... I need to do what I need to do and my body needs to do what it needs to do and I need to encourage it and be positive about it getting ready because I mean I'm 37 weeks like we're you know pre pre full term here um, the baby can come at any day at this point um, no, it's not likely that it'll come in the next two weeks, but you know, it definitely could happen and it's not a bad thing, so I need to let go of that because it's tough. It's definitely tough. It's extra tough because of the situation and part of me just wants to ignore it and like, you know, whatever, just to ignore everything to do with how my body feels and just focus on my husband and not think about it. But then on the other hand, I'm also like, I want to be... I want to be sort of in the moment with my body and actually know what's going on and be thinking about it because this is a big deal and I want to be fully engaged for as much of this birth as I possibly can. Um, I want to do it as naturally as I can, not because oh, I can do it natural, woohoo, you know, women are strong and stuff. Not for that. I just want to be fully engaged. I want to feel everything. I want to experience everything, but that means I have to stop running away. So with that being said, 
My contraction, I've been contracting. I've definitely had some contractions the last few days. And, you know, just kind of visualizing my birth. Um, the midwife was telling me, you know, visualize catching your baby. Visualize the moment when they put the baby on you. When you hold him for the first time and that you're visually pushing him out and stuff. And um, I really think that's powerful because your mind is so powerful and so many things, the battle is just up here. Um, we can, human beings, I think, can do so much. Like pain, we can handle so much pain. We can handle so much um, anxiety and all these other things. We can handle them all when we can see the end result being positive. So the good news about the gestational diabetes is that they're not going to call me anymore. They're not going to be tracking me as closely because I've been keeping my numbers okay. The bad news is that I did get a freak out after a couple days because she told me that. She's like, as long as you don't have any high spikes. And I did have two days in a row where I spiked high, like in my morning. And it's so frustrating what I eat. It's when I eat in the evening. And I know I've told you this before, but I just, between trying to like get some of my teaching stuff organized and taking care of Isaac and having people drop off food and organizing, you know, trying to, you know, pick up the last few things with the hospital bag and all these different things, I just wasn't eating when I needed to eat and it showed up with spiked sugar. So last night I finally did better and it was back down to where it always is and I was like, I told myself I'll give myself a few days and then if I can't get it down then obviously something's wrong with the with my hormones or something and it's, it's being blocked again so yeah I'm kind of happy that I don't have to be constantly dealing with the gestational diabetes nurses and you know sending my pictures of all my blood sugars and this and that and this and that so I'm happy about that but yeah I have lots of other stuff to worry about now to tell you like the outpouring of love on our family in this time is it's like overwhelming i mean i feel like crying right now i've sort of cried almost every day this past week because there's been so many surprise gifts and and love given to us in many different ways like whether it's been gifts whether it's been money whether it's been food whether it's been um helping us get to and from the hospital or anything like that. There's just so much and it's just so beautiful. And you really have to sit there, sit back and, and just be like, you know, there's some people, I guess is the thing, This I mean, this isn't really a pregnancy thing, but I just, it's how I feel right now. So I want to document it and I'm like, there's, you know, there's people who say they want to change the world. And then there's people who do. There's people that actually are like, you know what, here, I'm gonna do this for you. I'm gonna drive you here, I'm gonna do that. And you don't have to ask them, they just are there. They just come along or, you know, um, and it's just, it's just been amazing to me how much I've sat there and been like, you would do that for us? Like, you don't even know us that well. Like, so many people who we, I feel like we don't know well enough to even offer to help us, have helped us. It's just mind blowing. So thank you so much to everyone who sent thoughts, wishes, texts, calls, and above and beyond that because every single thing means the world to us and it is really been what kind of gets us through those hard moments when we wonder if we can actually do all of this that we need to do right now. So at my midwife appointment, um, she she kind of guesstimated the baby was about seven and a half pounds already. Um, Josiah was nine and a half pounds when he was born, so I wasn't expecting a small baby this time. Um, but to me, when she said that, I was like, wow, well maybe he'll only be about, you know, they, they say he's supposed to, they'll probably gain about another pound by the time he's born. So maybe more. So I'm kind of guessing between an eight and a half and nine pound baby, which is totally fine by me. He wasn't fully engaged when she tested him. His head was, his head was down. He was in the right position, 
but his head still had wiggle room. He hadn't fully engaged right on the cervix. So I'm not sure. I feel like I've dropped a little bit in the last couple days just with all this cramping. And I'm wondering if the cramping is just some cervical dilation because he has dropped. But it's one of those things, right? Like some people say, oh, you can totally tell when the baby drops. And I'm like, I don't know. Because some people tell me, they're like, oh my gosh, the baby's dropped when they look at me. And then I look in the mirror and I just, I'm like, I feel like it's kind of, but I also still I'm feeling him like way up in my chest and lungs and ugh, can barely breathe or move or like I go to like bent over and I'm like oh I can't move there's a bum or a leg in my way so I I don't know if it's actually dropped I guess you can take a look at my belly and see but at least he's head down his head was almost engaged and that was last Tuesday so it's almost in a week and then when I see the midwife this week I'm curious to know what they'll say I was measuring at 39 weeks 33 weeks I was measuring at 38 I mean I don't know if you know like fundal height and stuff but it does depend on the baby's position to what your fundal height can be because if the baby's all like stretched out your fundal height can be quite a bit bigger and then if the baby's curled up sleeping your fundal height can be like what it should be so um that's why sometimes i think i have totally different fundal heights when people measure me because i think baby is acrobatic well he's had hiccups a couple times the last couple weeks too which is funny because i don't remember maybe just i had them once but i don't remember very much yeah i don't think there's anything else really new i mean as i said i've been kind of distracted so i can't like pay attention i mean i'm waddling around i'm huge i feel very pregnant. I've had some, like, my pubic bone feels like it's ripping apart sometimes. Like, literally. Like, literally, I'm sitting there being like, the bone is cracking. I can feel it cracking. Um, and then I've also had some pretty serious, like, lightning crotch. And then I'll, and then a couple days will go by and I have none of that. So, I don't know what that means. To be honest, I couldn't tell you. But, I think that's all. I mean, that's all. It's a lot. And I think I'll do a bump picture with some belly shots so you guys can see the belly. I hope I didn't miss anything, but I'm telling you, like, if the brain works, between all the stuff going on plus my brain working, it doesn't happen. Okay, I'm trying to see what the best lighting for the belly shot would be, but here's the belly from the front. Here's the belly from the side. And the other side, yes, I feel like it's definitely a different shape, but you guys, let me know in the comments below if you think it's a different shape if the baby's dropped from your opinion. I'm not going to be upset if you say no, <laughs> but just a question. In the multitude of counselors, there's safety, <laughs> so you can let me know what you think. But anyways, thanks for watching. Hopefully this goes up this week. That would be cool, but... Between the surgery and everything else, there's no guarantees. I'm going to try to do some editing tonight, but I'm also behind on vlogs. Not that we've been really vlogging um, on my, my channel, our, our vlogging channel, which is Casa Cabrera, which you can go check out if you want to see, but we don't, we're like super inconsistent on that, so sorry. But yeah, thanks for watching. Thumbs up if you enjoyed, subscribe. I may not be talking to you until I have a baby, but if I actually get my act together, there may be a hospital bag or... 39 week update I don't know anyways thanks for watching guys bye take a picture let's not forget how beautiful this day has become leave me speechless let me get you my breath